Hello, howdy, folks, and welcome to the city of Arnheim, and of course, the AI Elf Tyrion Advanced AI Legendary uh, Campaign thing. Let's see, let's get this thing out of the way. Now, if you haven't already noticed, I'm working on my audio again, so my voice might sound a little bit different. Hopefully, I didn't royally screw it up. I noticed last episode was running um, a bit hot, like uh, the I was redlining for some reason. I think the compressor got goofed up or I, I don't know what, exactly what happened, but it was sounding pretty bad. So I dove in and I started, you know, once you start tweaking audio settings and doing all this weird stuff, you kind of just start to really try and make it even better than it was the first time, which, you know, can be a little bit catastrophic, maybe a little bit. But maybe, maybe it sounds better. I might uh, continue uh, messing with it as time goes on. Okay, anyway, so... Oh, we've got three stacks coming at us. Three whole stacks, and it looks like... Terra 1 had a little bit of go at them, probably poisoning their supplies and... Uh, leading a couple of assaults on their armies, but... That, it might not even make a difference. There is a lot of stuff coming for us, and it's almost completely made up of hordes of Black Art Corsairs, whether they have, they have hand bows or not. And that could be overwhelming in time, given that Black Art Corsairs are excellent on the walls. So, I think we're going to be focusing most of our units on this half of the city. It looks like they probably don't have any intentions to go after this uh, part of it, which is good. So we're gonna probably line up all of our garrison on the walls and they'll do all the fighting until they're tired and dead and then Tyrion's forces are gonna step in and try and finish the battle, I think is what our plan is here. Oh man. They have a lot of towers. I think, I think yes, we'll just Cram the walls with all the sea guard in the world. The volleys coming out of this city are going to be pretty ridiculous, I hope. Let's keep scooting everyone down that we can so that, yeah, there we go. I wanted to make sure their cone is going that way. More sea guard, yep. More sea guard. We have so many sea guard, we can't even get them up on the walls. Holy cow. Okay, so then we can have some more sea guard guarding the gates where they're likely to come in and since they double his spearmen, sure. Don't see why not. We have one free great eagle. We'll probably keep it in the center of town to guard the center. A good amount of bolt throwers, which honestly could actually... May, might actually do some serious damage if we let them. So we're just gonna let them do their thing. Let's, um, okay, let's have these two over here. These two, like, over here, maybe. I wanna have them a little bit more angled. With the veterancy ones having the um, better firing arcs than these ones in the back, I think. Maybe, we'll see. Let's get these all on. Yeah. We've got a noble that's also going to be... We'll just have them all over there for now. Lots of archers. I don't know what to do with this many archers other than... Put them all right here and then try and focus fire enemies on the other side of the walls. There's going to be a lot of incoming fire as well, so we might end up hiding. I'm not... We'll have to see how that goes for us. Okay, so we've got some white lines. I think we want some over here. They can move in on these towers, and then more white lines that can move in on these two towers. Phoenix guard. Um, I think we'll just keep the Phoenix guard way in the back. Super safe. Their halberds are not going to be particularly useful in this battle. Look at how ready they are. Look at these guys. So cool. We'll probably end up deploying them where needed. I'm sure the battle will reach a point of total desperation when we need to throw in 
everything we've got, but I want the, the Phoenix guard to be last, because for the most part, they'll go to the gatehouse and hold it against, you know, cavalry and hydras and stuff like that. So other than that, I think we're going to have our sword masters of Hoeth on the front, but behind the walls so that they don't get hit by any stray attacks. And they're going to be jumping up here and fighting uh, Corsairs whenever the time is right for us. God, are we already set up? I think so. Can we just get... Let's get Tyrion and the Noble out. I want the Noble over by the gate. And Tyrion just kind of like over here. And our lore master, I want him on the hotkey so we can be doing uh, quick castings of spells. We have a lot of power. That's good. Let's start. Oh, man. We've got fireballs coming out of our towers. That's nice. We're just going to have to watch their approach for a little while here. I don't know if the bolt throwers... Let's get the bolt throwers on guard, by the way. How much damage did that actually do to a tower? Very little, it seems like. But maybe we'll let them continue doing it. I doubt we can destroy any of these towers. But we'll see. Can we go to multi-shot? I, I heard on the forums once that... Towers are weaker towards shots that affect the unit inside better. It seems silly, but I don't see it. I don't see it helping anymore, and it's just it's not gonna work, ultimately, is is what's going on here, so. Let's let's hold fire with the bolt throwers. Yep, all this stuff is coming at the walls. We're shooting everything in sight. We're murdering them over on this side. Absolutely destroying them. But they've got their own bolt thrower. And look at this. A horde is coming for us. An actual horde. This is a 60 second cooldown. So I think we're going to use this. And start dropping some healing magics. Who is that? Mar okay, Marathi. Let's get, let's get Tyrion and our noble over there. Tyrion, let's use this. Tyrion, apparently, he, he doesn't know to just... There we go. Yeah, Marathi is getting wrecked over there. Super fast. She, Yeah, she's down. Marathi is just not going to make it. But we are getting hit by... Uh, I think, what? what is it? The Black Ark? Yeah, there's Black Arcs hitting us. Everyone out of the way. Black Art Corsairs are on the walls over here fighting. But the Sea Guard are no pushover guards, that's for sure. No pushovers whatsoever. But there's gonna be a lot, a lot, a lot of these Black Art Corsairs showing up. Let's get these black these white lions. Black lions, well. I don't I don't think we have any of those. What's going on here? Oh, this is our yeah, okay. So far, so good up here. Um, how many Seaguard are in this unit? Oh, that unit has been demolished. This unit needs to cut in a little bit more. But for the most part, we're hanging in there. Can we get a heal spell like this? And let's get these white lions up there. White lions, time to engage. Moving in to help. The White Lions should be able to work these Corsairs over pretty well. They're a pretty highly armored unit. But the, both of those units are, are going to do pretty well against each other, probably. There's nothing we could do against the Black... Wow, just a, listen to the cacophony going on right now. There's a lot of magic and arrows flying around everywhere. These Swordmasters have taken a bit of a beating. Can we get some heals over here for them? Because they haven't lost anyone. They just lost a lot of health. So we need to patch them back up if we can. Let's get these uh, white lions over here. These sea guard are just shooting and shooting and shooting. Look at this. It's an, un it's an unrelenting wave. Unrelenting wave. The sea guard are fighting those corsairs over there. We've got 
We've got white lions arriving over here to help. Let's have these sea guard line up over here and these white lions line up here to better repel them. Oh, dread spears. They're they're not gonna be they're not gonna be making it today, I don't think. Alright, archers, what can we do with them? Let's get our archers more like this. I think that'll be better. The bolt throwers Can we can we I don't know, they're supposed to be Oh yeah, they're not firing it well. Look at that barrage! Blanketing in them pretty well. I think that'll that'll teach them a lesson or two about approaching the walls. Uh, wow, that looks like it's actually working. Sword All right, sword masters, let's get ready here. It's it's not looking good in here. We're gonna need some help. It looks like. Can we get maybe a wild form over there? That'll help. And a healing over. See, I don't really care too much about the city garrison. Hmm. Let's just get a light one right here. I want to continue patching these units up so that they don't suffer too many casualties later on. Let's drop another one of these. Yeah, it gives us a lot of mana. mana. Okay, great. The bolt throwers are hammering that unit to bits. Are there any other bolt throwers we're worried about? Way out of range. We can't do anything about them. We'll just have to wait for more stuff to get in range here. But so far, the siege is going pretty well. Swordmasters, kill that general. Oh, yeah. She's she's not going to survive in that state with those swordmasters, I don't think. Well, let's get this group of swordmasters up on the wall. Bolts are just destroying that unit. Let's work on those Black Orc Corsairs now. Alright, Swordmasters, they're up there. This hero's running for the hills, that's fine. Let's, let's just stop bothering with her. And we've lost it over there. I think we're gonna move in some Swordmasters from this direction to help out. Oh yeah, we knew this was coming. We knew it was coming. The Noble, come on, just fight him. What are these guys doing? They're just not doing much of anything. That's fine. They will. They will eventually. Well, let's angle them towards the walls so that they're shooting at the gates. We have some stuff moving around on us. Can we get the gate, the eagle on it? Let's get the eagle over there to handle that problem. These sword masters are going to have this well under control for quite a some time, I think. And some more sword masters are arriving over here. Nasty. God, look at that. They are just striking them down. One strike, one kill. Scything through them. I don't think those Corsairs are, are standing as much of a chance as they hoped they would. That's for sure. Okay. This is looking bad. Let's get more Swordmasters up there now. And I think it's time to call up the Phoenix Guard, let's see, we have another whole unit over there. Let's get all the Phoenix Guard up here and, and prepared. Where's our Eagle? Eagle killed those units. Let's get it on that hero to get him off the field. Oh, we have Sea Guard retreating out of the city. This gatehouse has actually been taken. Oh, we can't allow that. Yeah, we got to go over there and stop that right now. Okay, it's time for some more healing, I think. Let's, um... Let's drop it. Ah, oh, damn it. We're not quite in range of things I want to be in range of. Can we... This one, it just needs more help. And let's also give them a wild form up there. Since they have their work cut out for them. The Sea Guard over here, surround those Cold One Knights, get on them. And over here, we're taking back the gate. Did it repel them? No, not quite yet. Wow, our Eagle is getting wrecked for some reason by the hero. Okay, uh, I know a fix for that. Let's get Tyrion over here. He could be here in just a split second. And let's cast uh, more magic for our heroes.
Okay, fresh Phoenix card are arriving on the scene. Let's get one of them over here. The Sea Guard have it pretty much well under control, though. All these archers are ready to join the walls. Let's get them over here. Let's see. Let's let's just keep these white uh, white lions here holding off the walls. Oh, are we winning? We're winning. Is that it? That's it. Okay. Well, if you remember last episode, we lost a siege, and now they lost a siege as well. And both of us attacked a well-fortified city, so it's really tough to crack these nuts, I suppose. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay. Wow. I'd say they suffered pretty bad. Pretty bad. A look at Tyrion's army. Almost no casualty. Look at... Oh, these Swordmasters were not on the wall for that long. Man, they cut their way through legions of them. The archers did a lot of damage as well, and even the bolt throwers got some damage. Not bad. The Sea Guard, they all did very well. The White Lions, they did pretty well too. Sadly, we lost one, so those veterancy... That veterancy doesn't stay, but... Wow. I am impressed. The God. I swear, this character is going to be like level 40 in a minute. She's just been over here damaging walls over and over and over again, and we have no one in the area to handle it. Ooh, a dragon scale shield. That's a nice item. Winds of magic, starting amount, and power reserve. Ooh. That hurts. Artois has been destroyed. Greybeard's Prospector's destroyed. Wow, that's two... Oh, we lost out on some trade. What's going on over here? Skaven or fighting Bretonia? Nah, that's definitely a Skaven stronghold there. Interesting. Okay, hey, we can see the Wood Elves. Apparently they hate us quite a bit. And... The Cult of Pleasure has invited Musalon to fight us, but it looks like they only have the one city, so I doubt we'll be seeing too much action, but you never know. You never know. Misnar could be in a bit of trouble in the near future. Bit of trouble. All right, all right. Sorry, I was like losing my train of thought there. Tyrion, here we are, level 32. It's got all that stuff. It's got all this stuff. Looks like we're working on finishing Quartermaster. Boom. Those are pretty good upkeeps. They're pretty good. Arnheim is a little bit, a little bit messed. Let's continue that trend over there. And I bet you is, yeah, he is fully replenished because we've got farms over here. What do you require? There are a lot of little ragtag uh, dark elves on the horizon there. So I think we're going to be handling them. Terra 1. Let's get on over to the bleak hold and start securing the uh, sweet, sweet influence again. Yeah, let's do that. More influence, please. Level 13. Let's go with that next level of specialist. Let's get our mage over here and then do it so that all these icons are... Oh, come on, mage. Come on, mage. Okay, fine. Um, Keldalon? Can we give you the dragon scale shield we just found? Six words save five melee defense? I'd say so. What else can we give you? Nothing. Okay. He needs to get moving. Now that we've exchanged some pretty heavy blows over here, and we are the one that's kind of ultimately coming out on top, although they have another army in Quintex and stuff, so 
Well, what can you do? Let's go ahead and get moving. I want to probably kill these bigger armies. Come on. Knock it off. There we go. There we go. Well, they still have some of their big hitters, and I know I know for battle. a fact, if I auto-resolve right now, we're going to lose our two bolt throwers and um, who knows what else. We also have our Star Dragon that we need to rename. So we will get right on that after this battle. Let's get in there. Make it fast. Wow. Well, no sense in not gambling. <laughs> that's just that's pretty brutal that is pretty brutal all right anyway we're gonna be pushing up on them whoops it's not gonna be a, it's not gonna be a particularly long battle but we might as well sort of do it right I suppose something like that Let's get these things on four. Boom. They're gonna come at us. We're gonna just rain hell on them. Oh, wait a minute. They have multiple, multiple bolt throwers. Let's actually, let's get everyone moving. Like this. Our star dragon could probably immediately start moving on that bolt thrower. They have a lot of them. Let's start focus firing dark shards. Guard mode, please. Oh, wow, yep, that did it. Just one or two volleys and those dark shards are out of here. Let's hit these other ones now. They do have a black dragon though. Yep, kill all these heroes. Let's uh, go after these cold one knights and the dragon princes can sneak in between here. Let's keep moving in with these Phoenix uh, Guard. Archers, move on up, please. What is this? Cold one, Dread Knights. Uh-oh, let's get out of there. Let's get some halberds on that way. And, yep. All right, Dragon Princes, let's ride all this stuff down. They're not fighting back. They're just not. Can we hit that cold one chariot with the eagle claw maybe? Stop hitting our own stuff. Swordmaster poet. Yep, sword masters, get on those black guard court. No, get on those black guard of Nagarond. Let's have the cavalry follow up on these Reaper Bolt throwers and Mr. Dragon go on over there or something. Boy, these four Phoenix guard are just getting hit pretty hard. Yep, everyone, just get moving. We're gonna need a heal spell over here, though. Just like that. Boom. Let's fight that stuff. Yep. Dragon Princes have that under control. I'm doing this pretty badly. Pretty badly. This is not the way you're supposed to do it, folks. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. This is not the way you're supposed to do a battle. There's literally, literally no tactical sense whatsoever when we have the advantage. Let's try, I don't know, something like that. Let's try blanketing that stuff. Archers, move up. Let's get our halberds in on that dragon. Who is still hitting us? We just have a random bolt throw over there. Let's go get the dragon on it. Damn it, did we really lose a Swordmaster unit somehow? They'll be alright. They'll be fine. Then again, it is kind of a, a full stack because we are fighting two whole armies. Oh well. We're fine. Come on, get in there. Is this battle over yet? I didn't think they would, uh, I thought that would be a little bit easier to push over, but evidently not. Oh, there it is. Now it's over. And I think that, that probably annihilates both these armies. This should be it for them. Great. Let's get out of here. 
let's, you know, get out of here, please, maybe. There it is. A glorious victory. Okay. Well, um, you're, I went into that battle with the wrong attitude. I thought it was just going to be like a quick cleanup duty, but I was deeply mistaken given that they ultimately had a lot of pretty elite units left over and probably a good couple of them numbed on us a bit. Hmm. I wonder how much of this might have been friendly fire. It might have been more friendly fire that did these swordmasters in because look at this. They did not kill... They did not kill that m many, but I don't know. Then again, that was kind of the only unit that was hit pretty hard. But some of these were hit hard too, but okay. Kill well, you know, I screwed it up. Anyway, moving on. Beginning my Those two armies are super dead. Ah, uh, that's the technical term. Super dead. Let's get Tyrion right here. Look at that replenishment here. Amazing. Let's go ahead and camp. We're going to move on the Bleakhold Fortress next turn, and that means that Arnheim is in march distance for Keldalon to get safely behind walls and replenishing. Very good. We've made landing with another, another prince, and his army's pretty good. Pretty good. This is the guy who's, yeah, melee defense plus five for the whole army, and I think is as noble... The noble is, let's see, is it this guy? No. Well, I thought, I thought the noble had honed, so we might want to consider getting rid of these spearmen at some point, but it, they'll be all right for now. They'll be all right. Let's, let's keep stealing Quintex's awesome, uh, torture apparatuses and soul stealing devices, I, I think. I don't know. There we go. Influence looking good. I guess we'll just take that. Let's go on over here, all the way over to Fandir. What are you up to, Fandir? Just hanging out. Waiting for trouble. Sure. Trouble is on the way, as usual. Let's get started on that marble thing. It's just going to reduce the costs everywhere else in this province. And especially because now that we lost one of our armies, we are going to be having the... Um, in the the turn upkeep to do lots of investing until we get our next army. Let's go ahead and upgrade that sucker to... Alright, Torfinu. Time to do major money here. Let's do the craftsman and... Do we want to do trade faction-wide? Income from ports? We only have one port. It'd probably give us more money to have just the promenade. Yeah, let's just do that. And of course, we're going to upgrade that and this. Looking pretty solid all around. Pretty solid. Tower of Lycians almost back up on its feet. Wow, some major tit for tat going on in this campaign. It is, it is pretty refreshing stuff. Let's skip Fandir there and I think we're just ready to move on to the next turn, aren't we? Okay, moving on. Really getting sick of her shit over there. Sorry, bad word. Shouldn't have said it. Level 12 with Sirion in Tyrion's army. I think we'll just keep working on that training because... Awesome. And we're in range of the Bleakhold Fortress. Why don't we get... Let's get our mage moving up here. Wow, looking pretty empty up north. Let's go ahead and secure all that influence before we take it. So glad we're getting some more influence again. We've really, we've, we were running pretty short there for a while and I was not happy about that. 61 turns of technology. Oh! Looks like the dwarves ended up taking that. Why don't we go ahead and go to Galbaraz and start working on that? I don't want to make the dwarves any more angry than they already are. Fandir, okay, let's get you over here. Looks like we've got a party to greet. Wow, two black dragons and a war hydra. 
and who knows what else. And shades. Oh my god, these armies are really starting to get extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. Let's get Thandir over here to greet them. At least he probably should be encamped at like some halfway point. Okay. We've also got a couple of rights here. We can do replenishment rate and attrition. Or winds of magic and experience. Hmm. This might cover that massive debuff that we have going on right now. Let's do that. And more experience for the mages is just fine for me. Just fine. All right, Tyrion, let's go to the Bleakhold Fortress. I don't know if I trust the auto resolve for this. I'm just going to edit it out really quick. And there we have it. Three lost. Let's just walk right in. All right. Finally, okay, we've got this province to ourselves. Oh, we're already up. Ah, uh, what happens if we? Ah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's. Hmm. Untainted might be nice. Although, I mean, how bad is it right now? There's a little bit of osmosis. We'll probably just go with Rebuild Lost Splendor. It would be nice to have Arnheim at level 5. Especially because it gives us, like, port bonuses. Or, I guess not so much here. We've already got the maximum port bonus. But, eh, who cares? It's fine. Tyrion, level 33. Now what do we do with you? Yeah, we're not going to be using any of those units. This, um, I mean, magic item drop chance, pretty nice. Research rate, sure. Or we can start just pumping these up a little bit more. The Bowmaster might be nice, just for the, for the ammo, really. Yeah, let's take Bowmaster one more time. Then maybe we'll, we'll work on these, I don't know. Sword play and hard to hit. We don't have enough points to get all the way up to Faint and Repose, so it's not even worth thinking about. We could go with Sky Master. Yeah, maybe we'll just go all in on the reds and just Tyrion will be like God Tier General, which is, I think, kind of like what he is anyway. Something like that. Seems, uh, seems legit. Anyway, uh, let's name his Star Dragon really quick. Uh, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to remember what the most recent one was. Let me go check. I know what it is. I actually remembered, but I wanted to make check. Glitter Fang. That sounds pretty good. It sounds nasty uh, with Tyrion and his Sun Fang, and then we have Glitter Fang as well. Cool. All right. Tyrion's got that locked down, and he's probably going to be end up moving south now to the Ancient City and on into whatever battles await down here while Keldalon moves north and starts really doing some damage up here. I think that's going to be the plan. Let's let's put it to action, huh? Yeah, Keldalon's going up there. The Plain of Dogs. I wonder, I wonder if that's Skaven. That could be, although the Skaven are up here. Hmm, that might actually just be burned down. Okay, interesting. But no armies seem to be coming from that direction, so it might be a bit of a steal going in there. I hope it is. Let's go with the trade uh, and port bonus and upgrade this and that. Might as well invest until um, I'm not I'm not too good with the names of our generals yet. I can just call him our princess. Liko Moita. That's right. She, that's a 
It's not going to be an easy one to, to, re to remember, so... What kind of generals do we have, anyway? Charmed, strong, keen... Alright, what about heroes? Ah, that's such a nice early game... Honed? Spearmen, archers, and other... Oh, that's really tempting. Especially because she's going to have a lot of sea guard in her army and they're going to be like a really elite sea guard. Let's take... Yeah, let's take this honed guy. And he could just sit around and wait for the princess to come. Boom. There are going to be some super, super, super duper sea guard. Let's go with the knowledge of man's affairs, of course. Let's go with... Replenish troops, of course. And start taking these awesome skills. And that's pretty low melee attack, so let's just go with that. And then uh, we can take Wound Maker over here. Very good. Yes. Sea Guard are going to be amazing in this army. They're going to be amazing. I kind of like the idea of having just super elite, super elite Sea Guard. Okay, Tyrion is moved, Keldalon is moved. We have more Dark Elves sailing in on the horizon over here and Fandir is waiting for him. I think we're ready to move on, aren't we? Let's do it. Yep, she's still damaging our walls. A little bit of Arnheim raiding. Elite champions, plus two experience for all of the good stuff. Oh, I like it. I like it. So, what do we want to do with any of this stuff? Uh, not too hot on some of this. I don't know how in the world we get an alchemy workshop, but it would be nice to have. Some upkeep reductions is nice. Unite local nobility. That's all right. Great Eagle, Phoenix, and Dragon unit recruits. Very good. Defense and ward save. That's nice. Charge bonus for Dragon Princes. Phoenix and Dragon units. Melee attack and damage. Wow. That's pretty gnarly, actually. Oh, we've, we already upgraded that. Okay. Phoenix and Dragon unit recruits, too. Hmm. Dragons get experience, like, super fast because they're a single entity model and they just kill, like, 100 dudes a fight. So it's not really that crazy. I think we're going to do this. Five melee defense for Dragon Princes and then five melee defense for Phoenix Guard is going to go a long way in a fight. So let's do that. I mean, and then 5% ward save. Why not? Sure. Sure. Tyrion, let's start heading back. Ready for order. Arnheim is kind of standing on its own feet now. That's nice. Prince of Elfwood. I second this. And we're going to be looking at some nasty attrition on our way to Hag Hall. But I let's do some the scouting. Setting forth. I know the way. Literally no armies. Vol's Anvil could definitely be Skaven land. So there could actually be Skaven in there. I think we're going to eat up a turn of attrition and then go straight for Hag Hall. I don't want to do the camping across the region. So let's go for it. It's a little bit nasty. But we'll have to just deal with it. Terra, why don't we go this way? Actually, you're good, Terra. Why don't we get over here? And Molgo can go up here. Do some scouting and... Um, Securing of the old influence. Let's get some more technology. Tyrion has moved. Let's go on over here to Thandor. This army is moving down to Elysia. Is that what's going on? I'm not sure. We're over at level 14. The mages are just leveling up randomly now, which is great. Greater effect on ability cooldown. When you overcast it. Doesn't do more damage, though. God, that is so expensive to cast. Let's work on scouting. Scouting is amazing. Lord of 
Yeah, magic item drop chance. Beautiful. I think we're going to... Um, we're going to double time it to Elysia. Your instructions. And wait for them there. Tora Coriali, let's just upgrade that. Can we get... Do we have a better eye on this? Two dragons, two hydras. Three shades, some black guard. Wow, these armies are no joke at all. Let's upgrade Torafino a little bit over here. Tower of Lycians looking good. Fandir, just get a little bit closer. And I, is that it? I guess that's it already. Oh, no, wait. I'm just, I don't have a notification because game is goofy. Let's go to Galbaraz. Boom, more influence. Always need more influence. Always. Um. Whatever. Just take stuff. I think we're done with this turn. Maybe we'll squeeze in one more epic battle at Hag Hall? Maybe, let's try. Larian reborn. Show me some respect. Marathi wants peace. Oh, I don't think so. Not when we have the upper hand like this. Hopefully we don't live to regret this peace treaty. The Phoenix Court. The Sentinels of Zeti. Not an aggression pact. I'm, I don't find that surprising at all, considering that they just went to war with all, pretty much all of our enemies. So, wow, they own a lot of real estate down there. Let's do it. Talea is dead. Who killed him? Orcs. Oh, man. Orcs, though. I don't think I've ever seen late game greenskins uh, in Warhammer yet. So that'll be interesting if we ever go to do battle with them, which we might have to if we want to save the world. If, you know, if we want to save the world, you know, it's no big deal. Okay. Can I offer assistance? Level 11 with our Noble Terra 2, I think? Why, how does he, why is he in this army? Oh, he's also honed. I must have got it mixed up. I think, I think he's supposed to be in Keldalon's army, but... Oh well. That's fine. He's got hard to hit. Let's get that next level of replenished troops. Can we catch up over there? No, we can't. And another army is sailing in on the horizon already. So let's let's get out there to approach them. And maybe we should hit them with an assault to soften them up a bit, or not. And we'll probably just have a, a, a ground battle then. That's fine. Let's go ahead and get the hard to hit. Now, over here, she's actually trying to get us. So let's try and get her back. Nope. That's not good. She can only wound, though, I think. So it's not... She can't kill us, which is good. I don't want to lose our, our honed guy. Let's get that technology. Sweet. Tyrion over here. Oh, your guy is level 13. Wow, he's moving along quickly. Let's get another point of training now that we've got all the training. Should help a little bit. Let's get to the edge here. Lots of armies. Never. A lot of armies building up on the horizon. We may be able to get to the Quintex and scoop it out from under them. Maybe. Maybe. But, speaking of scooping, why don't we go to the Ice Rock Gorge, get some influence. Level 15 influence, please. Good. Can we explore Vol's Anvil? Yep. There are Skaven there. Faithful servant. I think we're currently at peace with them, but that's not going to last more than one or two turns. Let's get to Hag Hall. Fully upgraded Hag Hall. And we don't have any bolt throwers. So we're going to have to scale the walls and chop them up. That's basically what we have to do. It's going to be nasty. Let's do it. Okay. It's a lot of magic.
I like it. Let's go ahead and start the deployment. Okay, uh, we've got way too many towers on this side. We're definitely going to be attacking this side. It's just going to be a lot easier for us, even though it's a little bit of a longer march to the city, or when I say march, I mean kind of a desperate run to the front there. I think we're going to climb the walls with all the sword masters. And then meanwhile, the spears and the phoenix guard are going to bring down these gates and get inside the city and do that, that spear pokey thing that they do. Let's see, this is our lore master. What does he got? We got earth blood and wild form. It doesn't look like we could overcast him, so we're going to have to, I guess, sort of remember that. Our heroes there. Let's get our cavalry over here. They're going to get in through the gates and do what kind of damage they can. And then, of course, who do we have with us? Snookums. Snookums is here. That's good. If Snookums wasn't here, I'd feel a little bit sad. So, good. Moving in. Let's go. There is a lot of them. There is a lot of them. These fireballs are going to be doing immense damage to us this entire time. Let's get spears on that, spears on that, and spears over here. And I think we're just going to throw all of our sword masters at the walls. Something like that, I guess, is probably the best we could do. Assuming these are doing fire damage, the dragon princes might totally easily survive it. But they're not going to be surviving the Dark Shards. Let's turn the Sea Guard in there to help out. And our Lord Master is probably going to be climbing the walls as well and doing battle. How many Dark Shards do they have? Corsairs, Corsairs. Just the one unit of Dark Shards. Come on, Sea Guard. Spread out. Do it smarter than that, please. Can we get over here with the dragon? With Snookums? Let's try and hit those dark shards. Oh, did it? It looks like it got a lot of them, although the, gra the effects kind of freaked out a little bit. It's time to drop a heal. Oh, man. Let's climb the wall. Let's hit those dark shards even more. These poor lore masters have been, or sword masters have been getting butchered. Dark shards. Dark shards and towers are just devastating. The sea guard are firing back. These sword masters are just in bad, bad shape. Let's get the generals in there and stuff. How are we doing on these gates? Oh man, the Dark Elves, they know how to hold a city. They know how to hold a city. Especially against a junior army like this. We're still learning about the advanced AI, but you know what? It does, it does impress. It does impress with how much more difficult it seems like the late game is getting. Let's get closer to these walls. We gotta do something about these damn towers. Let's get the Sea Guard closer. Something like that. These sword masters need to move in over here. And Snookums is ready for another barrage of breath. Can we do it right there, maybe? Go, Snookums, go! Oh, wow! That looked like it killed a lot of them. That looked like it killed a lot of them. It also killed some of us. Let's get all the heroes on the walls, actually. Everyone up there. All right, Seaguard, what do you got for us? Can you start showering those black guard with arrows on the other side of the gates? Are we through these gates? It looks like we are. It's time to clog it up. Oh, man. The bolt throwers are being really nasty to us. All right, let's get Snookums over. Wow, there's so many... Let's get, let's get over here where there's no black guard. That's what we have to be really careful of. Why aren't we attacking this gate? Why did we stop? I don't know. The entire unit glitched out and came through the other side. That's what it looks like. 
We're showering as many arrows on the wall as we can. Let's get our dragon princes over here. Great, the gate is down. Let's get everyone in. Oh, some of these spearmen decided to climb the ladders. That is, ay, ay, ay. All right, fine. Seaguard, get out like this. Looks like Snookum's doing okay in there. Yep, that's Snookum's. Just trying to get these names right. Let's start moving around. Moving around the side. Dragon Princess, get in here. Get on that hero. This is... This is... It's nasty. It's nasty. Phoenix Guard, engage something, please. Snookums, get off the ground. We need you off the ground. What is going on here? What is going on here? Come on, guys. Silly. Silliness. It's just silliness. All right, Snookums, what do we got over here? We've got one unit of Black Guard of Nagaron that we kind of need dealing with. Let's hit them with a breath. Roasted a good bunch of them. That's pretty good damage. Let's get over and start hitting these bolt throwers. They're, they're, they're being really annoying. We've got a hero over there that's being tough. Let's start moving in with the heroes and all this on these armies. Can we get another healing spell over here, perhaps? Like this. There we go. These Phoenix Guard really needed as they push in. Over here, trying to work this hero down. Are we doing any damage? I'm not too sure. These Sea Guard need something to do. Let's get them inside the city. Let's get them out of that group. These Sea Guard having trouble. Snookums, you're, you're overwhelmed by quite a bit of harpies. But it looks like you're doing okay. Looks like you're doing okay. It says you're doing okay. I hope Snookums is okay. Okay? Alright, let's get in there. Kill them. Great. All this is looking good over here. Let's start getting around them. Let's start getting around them. Snookums is not... Let's, let's get out of there now before it becomes a real issue. All right, focus fire with the arrows on those harpies. Yes, that should really help. Those harpies are not going to like those volleys, that's for sure. Well, we're, we're fighting hard for the city. We're fighting hard for the city. I like it. It's so cool when, when you actually have trouble getting inside cities. These sword masters, I don't like them here. Let's get them out of here. These sword masters, don't like them here. Get them out of here. Let's get our lore master down there. We've got him squished in over here, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Can we get another healing spell over here? Yep, Snookums could definitely use it. Let's get the heroes down here. And in on the bolt throwers. We have to shut them down. Seaguard, get over here. Start peppering them with arrows. They're not retreating. They're just not going to retreat. They're not going to retreat. All right. Get out of there, Snookums. Get out of there. You've had enough. You have had enough. Oh, and that's it. That's it. The battle is over. Whew. First, for a short while there, I wasn't sure if we were going to get in here. But we made it happen. The Black Guard of Nagarond. They, they just... Such a, an excellent unit. An excellent unit. Let's get out of here. Elf one triumph. Nice. Everyone survives. Everyone gets some ranks up. Looks like we get a little bit of, uh, you know, spending money. Snookums takes the day with 240 kills. Some of those breath attacks were devastating. I like it. All right, then. We are Occupy that sucker. Guardian of the Phoenix Crab. We get a talisman of Loic. We're also level time. 12. We're gold medals with just about nothing. A worthy ally. 
Okay, yeah, he a doesn't... Promising lieutenant. But we're so close. Let's just start taking these, because a lot of our units are going to be getting gold soon. The lore master is level 11. Um... Just start pumping up training. All right, what do we get in Hag Hall? We the get a free theater. Awesome. And we get a cattle ranch, which gives us lots of growth and a little bit of upkeep production for units we don't really use anymore. But I'll take the growth. I think we're going to want a Shrine of Assyrian, and we are most definitely going to want some walls. Do we need a horsey, though? Silver Helms and Reavers? No, we don't. We're, we're all about the Dragon Princes now. We're at Dragon Prince stage. Should I be building something other besides that? Could build the tower, but let's see. The Shrine is, is what we mostly want. Can go for some replenishment rate or just the gardens and stuff. It would be nice to have an elven court here and just build a bunch of uh, theaters and stuff in all the other districts. Let's just do that. There it is. Wow, we lucked out with getting the, the theater fully intact. The public order is not an issue here, it seems. That's good. Mage is level 14. Boom. Uh, which one am I booming? Probably the Cleanse Corruption, I suppose. Looking good. Over here, Terra 3. More influence than Galvaraz. Thank you. And now let's go on over to Tyrion. What's he up to? Oh, he's already moved this turn. Okay, well. We have Hag Hall. We're going to move on the Ice Rock Gorge. Where's Temple of Adeoth? Well, way over there. We might go and settle the Plain of Dogs. I don't know. Obviously, we're going to be ignoring the Skaven until they declare war on us just to prioritize a little bit better. Or we're making progress. We're making progress. So, Tyrion... He's moving into the Titan Peaks. Probably going to make a move on the ancient city of Quintex, depending on what these two stacks do. If we could go and snake it out from under them, that would be just so nice. Let's get closer there with Terra. Don't see anything. There could be like an ambush. I don't know. Over here at the Black Coast, we have success. What are we? Let's get rid of that. The Bleakhold Fortress, we've taken it, and it's just, yeah. Well, I've been kind of goofy this episode. I Just learning my new job has really taken, uh, taken the energy out of me a little bit. So, you know, forgive all that, but we're doing great. But look at this. They're just, they're sending stack after stack after stack after us. But despite it, we're, we're slowly making progress. We captured two cities. Maybe, maybe delivering the death blow to Marathi next episode or something like that. So, I hope so. That would be nice. Well, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one.